Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, everyone. It's Dooney Addict 615, and I am behind a mountain of a Dooney and Burke accessories. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much for your continued support. I'm going to make tonight's haul reveal a pretty quick one because I've got dinner ready and I want to be able to eat it while it's hot. So please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you know another Dooney addict, please go ahead and share this video with them. So this is the accessory haul. And I think a couple of these may be the same item just in different colors but i don't know that for sure so we are going to find out together and then i promise to give you back the gift of time because i want the gift of hot dinner and it is ready and waiting on me so the of course accessories um we're gonna just dive in I did travel with my coach, Dinky, this week and absolutely fell in love with it. It has, um, it was able to carry all of my essentials. I am doubtful that the Tory Burch version would have held as much. So I think I have convinced myself that I don't need to make that purchase. Besides, I've made all of these. All right, so... Here is the first item. It looks like it is a deluxe mo in Florentine and is this the scent color? Clementine or salmon? Um it says S. I, so I think this may be salmon, but I don't think this is the color that I ordered because I thought they were supposed to be pebbled leather and I thought I was getting coral, but unless the color code for coral is SI, which I don't think it is, it looks like they may have sent the wrong thing. But since it's Florentine and not pebbled leather, I think that I'm going to go ahead and go with it. I do have um, two salmon colored bags. I have the original salmon, which was released several years ago. I also have the newer salmon, but this one doesn't look like the same color. It's not as bright neon. This actually does look a bit more coral to me. So when I talk about the Deluxe Mo Wallet, this is actually the accessory that I'm referring to. Slip on the front, zip on the back. I treat it as a Deluxe card case because of the internal slot. So one, two, three, four. So it has a total of eight. Plus it has a place where you can stick cash or receipts. So I use it as more of a card case instead of a wallet but it does have a small wallet capacity so that is the first item now I'm curious if this is pebble or quarantine or completely something different All right, let's get this one stacked out of the way here and oh my goodness this one is fuchsia quarantine I do have I think I have violet and orchid but I don't know that I have anything fuchsia from Dooney so I'm not this one had to be a purchase um, that was influenced by a sale price because I don't have anything fusion. 
but it will give me a wallet that I can carry during Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October this year. So I will put that with my other pink items and I'll be set for that. All right, so this next one, these don't all have the same style number from what I can tell. Who knows? Okay, all right. So here we go. And... Okay, so this looks like the light taupe, let me make sure I'm not calling the wrong color, of the large zip around wristlet. It has the color code XD, but it looks like my light taupe Chelsea. It has the red zipper tape. I love this style wallet. I can't remember if I picked up the teal, but I do remember when I was doing my um, shop with me back at the end of last year in Orlando, I saw the teal one. I can't remember if I purchased it online. I know I didn't buy it in store and I have regretted not doing that ever since because I do have um, teal Florentine bags and I don't have any matching accessories. So um, I can't think I might have paid 99 or 89 might have even been $79 during a sale to pick this one up and I know you've seen this wallet many a time on my channel in a ton of different colors I love it because it holds everything now of course I wouldn't be able to use a wallet this size like I did this past week because of the bag that I carry this is not gonna fit inside a dinky Heck, it's probably the length and half the depth of a dinky, but on those weeks when I'm in a full-size bag, that one will actually work. So, let's see here. I'm kind of hoping I ordered a teal, but I don't remember it being available online at any point. Ah, uh, I wonder if that's what this is. Okay. This is in the color Spearmint, and it is in the Greta Monogram. I picked up a few things in this color for the spring, summer. I love this color. I don't carry it a lot, but I've had this Spearmint color in my collection for a while. I'm pretty sure it's Spearman. No, it's actually sea foam. So now I don't know if it's gonna work with anything that I have other than the other sea foam accessories. Same style wallet as the Florentine Light Tote, just in the Greta. This one is in coated canvas, so not leather, but it does have the leather trim around the logo plate. And then, of course, a leather wristlet that is detachable. I guess I was on a wallet and accessories kit. Sometimes it just works like that. Sometimes it's motivated by price. All right, let's see what's in this one. Because that one was available in the Seafoam. There was a fuchsia or hot pink. And that, I think I picked this one up because I purchased a um, monogram tote. I also think I got the monogram Janine in this one which smaller bag for the monogram um, for the Janine and then the larger tote is the larger zip around wallet. Clearly, I like this style wallet from Dean, if that's not evident. 
I do think that um, while I've identified accessories from Dooney that I like, that I love, there are some that I have steered clear of or some that I used in the past that didn't quite work out based on the way that I was traveling then. But since I have a little bit better, I think, system for handling like my travel receipts, I do think that I may go back and give the Slim wallet another try because I really, really liked that wallet. I had it in black pebbled leather. And whenever I pull it out, I can tell that it was well loved because the pebbled leather is so buttery soft now. Um, so I think I may go back and give that one a try. And then maybe, maybe the Continental. Um, I, I, I'm terrified of actually saying that out loud. I can't see me purchasing any new ones right now. But I think I may go back and give those a try because I did have several in my collection. I do have, let me correct that. I do still have several in my collection. Um, it's just that as my travel receipt started to expand, that wallet just didn't work. But I may give it another try here soon. Okay. I'm not sure what's in this one. Small enough for accessories. Small enough for a Lizzie, but I think I've shown all of those. Maybe a clutch. I'm not sure. No clue. But there are more accessories. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have here. So we've gotten Florentine and coated canvas so far. Let's see here. Okay, this I think is the color sand in pebbled leather. I remember not too long ago, I pulled out a card case during a haul and I couldn't remember why I purchased it. Um, this wallet though makes sense. The color is neutral. I've been on a neutral kick and this will actually, this makes more sense than the other card case. But I don't. I still don't know why I picked it up. Um, so we've got the color sand, and I'll let you look at that because Dooney doesn't do a ton of sand, but it is a nice neutral color. And just to kind of compare it to, uh, let's compare it to the light tote, just so that you can see the warmth and coolness between these. And then another comparison would be for Ecru. So Ecru, light taupe, sand, pebbled leather, and then the other two are in Florentine. So those are the three colors. The Ecru actually gets washed out against the light um, taupe. It looks a lot um, darker on camera with this color story kind of um on the screen there so that's those let's see what else i also think that this sand color hold on hold on i think i have oh we'll do this one i want to see how the sand compares with the color in the dooney Timoro to see if it could pair. If you decided not to use monogram on monogram, if the sand color would actually work. And I think it does. This is a little bit more golden 
but I think you could pull it off if you wanted to use the sand color to kind of pair with um, you know the brown Timora or the monogram if you wanted to do solid accessories the sand color will work with that and then I also want to see how the sand compares to the larger monogram because you may decide with your bags that the sand color will work because of the background you could get one bunch of different colors of the coded canvas in the monogram but just go with neutral accessories and it would work for all of them so it looks like the d b in this um i think this is in crimson Uh, it looks like it pulls from that same sand color. So you could mix and match sand with some of the others. So, all right. Still didn't make the card case make sense to me, but it's in a gift pile right now. So it may move on. All right, so the next one let's see here is okay, this this is the color coral. All right, so this is the coral in pebbled leather so now I need to see I think the other one is salmon I don't it looks pink on camera hmm all right let's see here try not to knock everything over ooh salmon coral I prefer the salmon because it's got a deeper richer color and beside this pebbled leather this actually looks more pink to me than it does orange or coral but the color is coral I feel like I'm getting some shadows and then this one is the coral pebbled Florentine salmon coral. This one may go in a gift as well because I definitely prefer the Florentine, the color, the vibrancy of it. Okay, let's see what this last one is. Always one that wants to be rebellious. All right. And then this color. Mm, color code is YT. I think this may be a pale blue. Okay, so here's the backstory. These pebbled leather deluxe mo wallets were on sale on the ILD eBay store for $39. And considering these colors pull from all of the monogram retro um, DB75 multi, it will go with uh, some of those um, doodle shoppers and totes and backpacks and crossbodies that I have for $39 to get a wallet that I know is going to work in a bunch of colors that I can pull because um, I don't have a ton of 
bright colors. Well, I guess I still don't because if this one's gifted and I hold on to the blue and the other one is the sand color, then that may not actually... I still may not have a lot of brights. <laughs> I do better with uh, accessories in colors than I do bags, I think, because the bags for me, uh, red is, is as adventurous as I seem to get sometimes. Um, so, oh yeah, you're right, so it will go with the hydrangea as well. Um, it'll also pull from the watercolors. I have a couple of pieces in that. I think the B print has some blue in it. So this one may work. Does it have blue? I think it does have some blue in it. So the watercolors, the DB75, the doodle, the hydrangea. Um, ooh, what else do I have? Oh, you know, the um, Montego and Siesta, we had Caribbean blue. So I wonder if this wallet would actually work with the background in that. I also have a um, an Ella tote from Tori and Birch that kind of has a floral pattern. So I think this may work in that as well. I'm coming up with a whole lot more. This will also work in my, uh, what is it? Well, yeah, this one, my Cuba inspired page sack. Um, this will work. I think all three of them will work with that bag. And then there were a couple of bags that were purchased during the uh, bucket list experience that have like a hydrangea, not hydrangea. It's um, a hibiscus flower print. I think the salmon... And probably the coral will work. I can't remember if it has any blue in it. I think I've just justified not buying any more colored accessories in these colors because I have other things that I can now pair with them. I think that works. Um, yeah. I think that's it so clearly I have a thing for certain styles of Dooney accessories and that has been evident tonight the large zip around wristlet the deluxe mo pebbled leather Florentine and Dooney's coated cotton or coated canvas I just can't seem to go wrong with those and then confirmation that if and when I move into my T. Morrow Brown Leisure Shopper again, if I'm in my sand accessories, I don't have to worry about an accessory swap because we confirmed that the sand will work with the T. Morrow. It will also work with the background of uh, the large monogram. And I'm pretty sure... It will also, in that sand color, it may be off just a tinge, but I'm pretty sure that it will also work with some of the Coach signature from the outlet. Because you know they have a couple of different colorways of signature at the outlet, whereas they typically do the signature in the tan rust at the boutique. They have a couple of different variations at the outlet, and I think that the sand color will mix and match with some of those pieces as well for a really, really um, neutral color palette, which will allow the signature pieces to stand out. Similar to pairing a solid color with one of Dooney's more um, color um, elaborate uh, designs and allowing the, the you know, the GB75, for example, or the Doodle to stand out and then allowing just a solid color accessory to pair with it. So it'll pull it all together, but it won't steal from your headliner. So that is it for me. I'm going to try to get another video in this week because um, I want to 
do a comparison of what I carried in the Coach Dinky to what will fit in the um, Dooney and Burke Alto Ella. I want to kind of compare and contrast those. Um, I also want to see how that compares with the pocket clutch wristlet to see if it will hold everything that surprisingly the dinky held. And I also want to see how that compares to Lizzie. Not sure that I'm going to come back and do that live, but maybe just a little bit of a film and upload. Um, so stay tuned for that. Please go ahead and hit the thumbs up before you head out. I hope that you have an amazing week. And until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.